Hello, monsters are bound here, and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires Part 14, my Belagar campaign. Thank goodness it's not last episode, where things went a little bit pear-shaped as we lost both Gimply and Ozpin the First. Oops. Oh well, it's not the end of the world. And uh, now, I could confederate with these guys. I just don't think it's a good idea, unfortunately. I mean, I could... I could do, and it would give me a couple of new armies to potentially get killed. So, I mean, you know, options. It's, it's all about the options, isn't it? Um, should we... Actually, hang on, 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 hang on a second. Right, public order's about to collapse there. Is that a good idea, then? Is that a good idea? I don't know if that's a good idea. Um... I mean, we'd have the mountains. I just don't know if... I, and plus, you know, public... Some of our settlements are a little bit cranky, so it might be a good idea to not do that. I mean, the thing is, it means that the dwarves... The uh, Kazakarak might confederate them, and that makes it harder to confederate. That Basically, it's all about... Do you ever play Spore? Like, that game where you could make your own creature, and it was a bit shit, because, like, they'd overhyped it... And turned out that it was basically just a bunch of mini games stapled together, and you had that first first sort of like stage where it was all about eating other things or plants. But let's face it, whoever had made a herbivore, boring. Eating other things and then growing bigger. That's basically what confederation is in uh, in Total Warhammer. Basically, you have to eat the smaller things to become bigger to then eat the slightly bigger things. I'm glad I made that um, analogy because I think it works really well for all of the five people that played sport that watched me. Anywho, the point is I also learned the dwarves aren't at war with Clan Eshin, which is why they, they did... I'm fairly sure they were at war, but maybe I just imagined it. Okay, so belagal has got to go back and deal with Clan Eshin. Uh, meanwhile, we're hurried... Ozpin... Yeah, Ozpin II is hurriedly creating a, a defensive force to try and hold the Greenskins at bay. And I'm also knocking down the Monument of Grimnir at uh, Karak Draz so that we can then get an Engineers thing and get some Orc and Guns up. Because Orc and Guns, well, they, they make the world go around. Or at least they blow small chunks of the world up, which is basically the same thing. Okay, we're going to have Rebellion here. There's not much you can do about that, so we'll just let it happen. Our grudges are creeping up again, mostly because of the annoying being, uh, being raided. There's not much we can do about that, unfortunately, apart from try and bop the armies. But actually, it's very hard to bop the armies, because if they're raiding you, it's because they don't want to attack you. And if they don't want to attack you, it's because they're probably just going to run away. So it's very hard to actually bop those armies. Plus, we've got this one here to, to de defeat Durkit. And um, I... Well, it, it's fucking miles away. I can't get over there just yet. Um, so we're just going to have to... Just going to have to deal with that. Fortunately, we've got loads of cash, so no worries there. Um, but I, uh, Barak Var is basically my... I ne really, I need defences there. Should I get defences here? I could knock down the guild marketplace. Hmm. I think we're okay. There was another army here, but it, I don't know what's happened to it. This makes me a little bit concerned, but Wurza, right, Wurzak has been a real thorn in our side, but his army is fucked, and it's not going to replenish next turn. So we've got at least two or three turns before he can then come back into the fight. Um, so we should be okay there. Uh, we should have the time. We can probably get another army up as well um, once we get the Engineers Guild and uh, get some organ guns. That'll be fun. I also want to... I'm going to replace the... I know the Tax Reaper's Revenge and the Grudge Throwers there, we're going to replace them with organ guns because let's face it, organ guns are just friggin' amazing. You can't go wrong with some organ guns. A shameful display. Okay, so... Ooh, public order. Um, public order's probably fine. We'll just take the public order hit. Got a grudge issued because of a rebellion. Okay, which is just... Oh. Stop that. It's the Karakazul rebels, apparently. And the war fails. And you've damaged our walls, you absolute bastard. Did we knock the walls down here as well? We did, didn't we? Yeah, we did, because I was going to get more growth. So let's do that, because that's effectively going to double our growth. What did I just see? 
Veterans Pride. Okay, so less less upkeep for uh, for long bids. That's quite nice. That's quite nice. Okay, let's hop over to Karakazul. That's hopefully going to make Deathmaster Snitch run for the hills, more than likely. And the Karakazul Rebels, we can easily bop those. Dwarf on Dwarf action. Mmm, sexy. Super sexy. Right, our front line is looking pretty good there. Uh, we could do with a little bit more artillery. Now, because we've got a big army, I'm just going to go cannons. I'm going to go cannons. Is that the right choice? Not sure, but uh, that's what we're going to do. There's just a bunch of small armies around here, and I don't know where that main force has gone, but I'm just going to assume that everything's going to be fine forever. Um, that's the dream. So... <laughs> so um, Right, I want an engineer's workshop here. Could finish off the defences, but I, I feel like that's less important. Let's get the feast hall. Public order could be better in multiple locations. It is going up apart from Blightwater, though, so... Um, that's generally fine. We can get some defences there. We can increase our growth there, and we can upgrade that, and eventually we can then get more... Um, Upgrade our defences even more. That'll be fine. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can do apart from do some research. More weapon strength for dwarves. I mean, that's not actually that useful, really. Um, recruit rank. Mm. Ranger units. Does that include the Bugman's Rangers? I'm going to assume yes. So let's get Vanguard proficiency. Now, neither of these Clan Eshin armies are particularly scary. We could actually expand in this direction. It does mean that Belagar's going to be busy, which leaves sort of like dealing with the green skins to whoever we can then recruit afterwards, but I'm sure that's probably fine. Now, Ozpin doesn't have a weapon. So we could give you the Iron Warden's Hammer, which give you perfect vigor. Um, we could give the, dra the Dragon Slayer's Axe is quite nice. I feel like Perfect Vigor is just pretty good. So let's make one of those for Ozpin the second. Gives him a little... Good. Hold on to that anger, you'll need it. I mean, mind you, that's a very tanky force there. You've got some giant slayers, you've got a good front line, you've got lots of missile units, and then you've got lots of artillery as well. So I'm I'm feeling fairly confident about that. We do need to get another army, though. Um, once the Engineers Guild is finished, Engineers Workshop even, in four turns, we'll recruit another army here, maybe get some, like, organ guns and stuff, and then bring them over and share them out with Ozpin, so Oz Ozpin can replace his grudge throwers. I might do the same with Belagar. Belagar's going to kind of be, going to be moving in the opposite direction, um, so he might just have to deal with his grudge throwers for a bit. We could always... Um... Oh, God, there's lots of them now. Bit harsh. A trade agreement. I am kind of busy at the moment, so... I mean, you're only offering iron, which I don't really... I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no, because I don't really think it's that useful. At some point, I am going to want to kill you, but it's not right now. I've got other issues to deal with. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, balls. Okay. <sighs> By my hammer, I should slay you where you stand. Okay. Peace treaty. Um, I'm going to say no. Okay. Bugger. That's a bit of an issue. Um, I don't know what to do about that. I, fuck. I need more armies, <laughs> basically. I need more armies is is what we need to do. Um, right, Death Gorge. What was sacked? They sacked. Oh, they sacked Death Gorge and then they took it. All right. Well, good good job there. Grudge issued. Raid the following region, Eason. 
Oh, this is the right. In the stern eyes of Valea did the elected Count of Ostermark's commission skilled dwarf engineers to rise a mighty fortress and then shortchange the dowry by two pennies. An outrage ransack Ostermark to recover the costs. Yep. Well, I mean, currently it's 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 Skaven holes, so um Oh, for fuck's sake. It never rains, but it pours. Okay, in two turns we're going on the attack. We can bop you to start off with. I don't really want to fight this one, but I think I'm going to have to just because otherwise I'll take too much. Do I? Oh, fuck it. I'll be fine. Actually, you know what? That's fine. I was a little bit worried that they might just like wipe out units, but no, it's fine. And then we can replenish because, of course, they are dwarves. So that's all fine. Um, what about the public order here? It's not particularly good. Okay. This is a little bit ballsy, because if we get ambushed, this will be pretty bad, but Onwards. I'm going. Can we reach you? Oh, we can. If you run, the problem is, if you run away, then you can just jump us with everything. Mind you, most of what you've got is Skaven Slaves, so fuck it. Bring it. Come on, fight me. Oh, I knew you'd run away, you bastard. No, kill him. Oh, you little shits. Impossible. I mean, we could run away, but then they'll probably reach us anyway, and... Fuck, I really... Ooh. Oh, that really gets my goats. Talking of goats, we'll get that. And uh, then a toolmaker's workshop. Sure. And fences. Yeah, that could probably come in useful. And I also wanted to get... What did I want to get here? I had a thought. That's right. I was going to get the ranger's outpost because then I can knock this down. That's what I was going to do. Um, we could get defences there. I'm not going to. We're just going to hold the line here. I think now... I'm going to raise another army. I don't know who I want. You've got Ancestral Blood, Valea, which isn't actually that useful. Grongi is not that useful. Grimnir is not bad, though. More melee defense, physical resistance. You're up. Root Marcher. I don't really massively like the Rune Lords, but it's kind of like, well, what else are you going to get? Uh, let's get Miner's Instincts as well. Then we can grab some long beards just to start off the the force i'll get some thunderers as well um because of course now we've got a big old force down here to deal with as well how much how many settlements do the greenskins have they've only got eight couple of stacks plus multiple little armies that they're also now starting to build up that's concerning oh fuck Okay, no problem. We might have to go on the defensive for a bit, but hey, we're dwarves. It's pretty much pretty much the standard. The pretty much the standard. Uh, you, who the fuck are you? Oh, you're literally that guy. You know what? Assault units that could actually maybe come in useful. Who knows? Hello. Looks like Death Master Snitch is trying to... I don't understand why he's trying to underway... I, I thought they would jump us, but maybe even with... Like, their two and a half stacks... Because it's mostly Skaven Slaves, they don't want to. However, because of the armor-piercing Night Runners, I am going to fight this because I don't trust Auto Resolve. I don't want to alarm anyone, but someone's left the taps on. So, we have a bit of a damn problem now. But never mind, that's, that's you know, that's on our to-do list. First, we've also got a bit of a vermin problem. Deathmaster Snitch has attempted to run away. Now, actually, picking up this this underway, um, whatchamacallit, what's, what's when you... In interception, that's the word. Also, yeah, interception. Has actually been quite useful because we keep like picking up armies trying to get away from us and uh, we can wipe them out before they can gather up into a nasty big ball of death so uh 
good work there. However, I don't want to auto-resolve this because I feel like the gutter runners will probably make mincemeat of me. So although this is going to be a fairly easy fight, I do find, though, Clan Eshin... Is this just me? But Clan Eshin, they seem to be... I don't know. They just seem to be a lot braver than most Skaven armies. Like, they don't seem to break all that quickly. It could be because they've got, like, units of gutter runners that... Because... Because I can't see them, it looks like the army is far more dead than it actually is. Maybe that's... That's what's going on. Anyway, Skaven Slaves advancing straight into our guns, and uh, yeah, well, I mean, you can guess what's going to happen there. Yep, that'll do it. Most of the forces are trying to come around the flanks. We've actually got Deathmaster Stitch on the left here. He, I think he acts like cavalry. I think that's what he thinks he's cavalry. I think his AI is cavalry, so he tries to, like, flank around and get in amongst the... Oh, it's not a bad idea. I mean, he's an assassin, right? That's what he's supposed to be doing. The Night Runners... Trying to get around the flanks. Belagar dealing with some Skaven slaves there, which is not going to be particularly difficult for him. We do have these, these warp grinders moving in to engage. Um, I've kind of ignored them because I don't really think warp grinders are that good, to be honest. That's... That's my thinking there. Am I going to be shocked by their ability to to get shit done? Maybe. I mean, I guess if the, if they make it into combat, then we'll fight. No. Oh well, never mind. I guess I guess they're forever shit. However, the uh, the sexy beards here are having their beards reduced to literal shreds as the gutter runners just whittle them down so fucking quickly. I swear, these they, they, the slings. Slings and sh oh god, it's just horrendous. Anyway, uh, Deathmaster Snitch has tried to assassinate Belagar, but it's gone horribly wrong, as Belagar is well far tougher than Deathmaster Snitch could ever have imagined, and Deathmaster Snitch is now having to run for his life. So off he goes. I'm I'm very much veering on to playing Deathmaster Snitch next. I'm I'm, I'm I feel like we should maybe do that because. I'm, I'm liking the gutter runners. The gutter runners are always a unit where I was like, oh, they're, they're just kind of... They're just kind of cool, aren't they? They're rat ninjas. You know, it's basically having an army of splinters. But instead of being goody two-shoes, they're the baddies. Right, Deathmaster Snitch is running for his life. He has done absolutely nothing to Belagar. In fact, Belagar has mostly taken damage from his own guns, shooting him in the back. But never mind. And yet the Clan Eshin army is still fighting on. The Gutter Runners are still, still hanging around. Army losses are still yet to take effect, despite the fact that they they we basically just cut through them. Finally, army losses start to take effect as we start whittling them down. But we've taken some major damage from these Gutter Runners. They are nasty. God, those those. Armor-piercing shurikens. They just shred stuff, don't they? Oh, hello. Oh, fuck it. Ow! Yeah. Yeah, those guys. Holy shit. Holy shit. By my hammer, I should slay you where you stand. You don't want... I mean, I... I No. I don't like Kalida, but I don't think you should probably meet her with that, that kind of enthusiasm, to be honest. I'm surprised that both of those... Skaven stat. I honestly thought we'd get ambushed. I thought they'd jump us with everything. And yet. And yet they did not. Interesting. Caravan raid. Okay. Uh, now, our public order's not great. So I think. I don't really need. You, yeah. You're on your own. You're on your own. Okay, so we have dealt with a couple of stacks, which is good. I'm concerned about Karakazgul. I'm also concerned about Kratomon here, because they don't have defences yet. So... I need to get some forces down there. Sooner rather than later, ideally. 
Let's do something like that. Um, Master of Runecraft. Now, if I attack this, they're just going to run away. They fully know they can run away as well. Yeah, off he goes. And he knows that they can retreat further out of range than I can follow them. What I might do, though, is lay a little ambush and see... It. The only slight problem is if they jump me with everything. In that event, we might corner camp because, you know, what, what, why the fuck not? Why the fuck not? Let's just let's just meander down here. That way we can heal up. I'm going right. What we're gonna do? Oh, we can't get any thanes. We do not have much in the way of agents, do we? Okay. I mean, there's not much. That's probably fine. Character, you're right. You're you're getting happier, mostly because of the characters, but that will hopefully stave off rebellion for a little while. We can now move into this this territory down here. Now I'm sure Clannish have got a lot of stuff, but this potentially is you know we, we can we can make some we can make some extensions out the back, um, and uh, that sounds quite nice. So we're going to do that. You kick the shit out of them doesn't didn't actually really do much good because they will just replenish hopefully we won't get spotted because if we do there might be a lot of orcs to kill but in that event then we just call a camp and hopefully we'll be fine fingers crossed maybe uh right confederation between some factions we have vanguard proficiency uh which is good ne right now we can we can chase him off but the problem is he's gonna run back you know what? I, I think my main issue is Savage Orcs. Savage Orcs are just very... They can soak up a lot of damage. And they're also very killy. And the only thing that we, obviously Dwarves, are f pretty good at is taking things out of range, right? That's, that's what you need to do. What do you want? What we don't really... I mean, I've I've seen Savage Orcs, Savage Orc Biggins, take a hit from an organ gun and get back up. Now, even Chaos Warriors, like, just get turned to jam by those fucking things. So, basically, I need to stop them recruiting Savage Orcs, because those things are just... A, just... Ugh. I could go for the attack here, but the likelihood is he's just going to run back to his friends. Ah, I suppose so. Like that. Setting off. I'm a little bit worried that if they attack, they can probably kill Ospin. Just through sheer weight of numbers. Um, so I don't really have a... Have a real way of dealing with that, unfortunately. Uh, so, let's... Grab some Quarrelers... Get another couple of units of those guys. Um, oh god, I guess more. It's not a very exciting army, but it's pretty much what we got. You're running away, so I'm just going to head straight. Oh god, they've got a couple of armies there. Uh, nothing, nothing too bad by the looks of it. Oh, and another stack there. Lovely. Right. Well, obviously, I'm going to have to attack that because auto resolving that would be would be madness. I really wish we had wizards. I, I like cast. I like magic. Magic can be so potent, and we just don't have any. Instead, we've got a we've got Slimer, who's got some abilities that are all right, I guess. So up against Garth, Garth Marenghi. He's written more books than he's read, and he's currently defending this pitiful little settlement, which I kind of want, but also don't want to expend too much manpower taking. So the gate's down already. We've smashed it down with our grudge throwers. However, 
as is tradition, I've completely forgotten about Menace from below and left the Grudge Throwers um, completely undefended. So Casper's having to run back to be friends with the Clan Rats by smashing them in the face with a big hammer. Meanwhile, they've also got some Plague Claw Catapults, so the Sky Hammer's flanking around to try and get some shots off. The only slight problem is that it gets absolutely fucking annihilated by these uh, slingers. Other things that get absolutely annihilated? Rats, when you drop rocks on them. Turns out, makes plenty of jam. Well, that, that was, that was, I mean, fuck me, who needs a wizard, right? Just, fuck it, how many rats died just then? I mean, they've dropped down from two and a half thousand to, to, I, right, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say about 500 rats died just then, if not, maybe more. So, that's, that's a mood. It's a lot of, a lot of jam lying on the ground. That, that scepter of stone is fucking amazing. Unfortunately, it does not give Belagar the kills. He's only got 41 kills, I'm fairly sure i think it might only count the kills that the rocks actually drop on rather than like the aoe damage that uh, that it it does potentially okay so the play call catapult is being whittled down there we go that's uh i mean if the ai was smart they'd send gutter runners to uh, attack the sky hammer so that what's happening here oh god stop no go away fuck off fuck off The Skyhammer will take about a quarter of its health if, if a unit of Gust Runners gets off a full volley. So you have to be so careful. Because it... Oh, look how much... And just a few shots as well, just to manage to do all that damage. Okay, meanwhile, we've got another blob of Skaven surrounding us. I mean, considerably less than before. The Skyhammer is heading around to drop some bombs, but it's going to fly straight over some Gust Runners who were hidden. And, yep, take a lot of damage in the meantime. Oof, that's... That's not ideal. Fortunately, some bombs should help. There we go. There we go. Right, that's cleared out the gate area. I say cleared out. Obviously, there's you know, still... There's, there's a fair old mess here. Stop cheering yourselves and get... Sh get look, there's still plenty of rats to kill. Just mind the... Just don't... That's a lot of dead rats. Good. Okay, we've taken some damage from the Menace from below, and I it's one of those things where I feel like when the AI uses Menace below, it seems to get a lot it, it seems to get a lot more kills than I do. Whenever I use Menace below, the rats instantly break and run for the hills. I guess that could be the difficulty level, but maybe I'm just using it wrong. I don't know. Either way. We're slowly carving our way through the Skaven defenders. You can see uh, we uh, close, close to close to numbers being the same. Priority, that good words. Yeah, we're taking out the towers because they were doing a lot of damage to us. They can just they can just whittle you down given half the chance. Uh, this warlock engineer is being a pain in the ass, so we've just jumped him. Like we've just. We've just immediately jumped him, and we're just kicking the shit out of him. Because that warp lightning is actually a very good spell. On packed units, it will cause a lot of damage. You have to be very careful. It's very cheap. It's very effective. So it's a really good spell. Okay, so most of the rats, including that warlock engineer, are now running away. Now, the only slight problem here is that we've still got quite a few units of gust runners and night runners to deal with. And they could potentially be quite problematic because our dwarves are quite slow. They're quite fast. And uh, that means that um, they could potentially just kite us. They've also got some storm vermin who I'm less worried about. The storm vermin, I'm like, that's fine. We can deal with them. Slime is taking a bit of a pounding. But fortunately... Oh... Will you fuck off with your warp lightning, I swear. More rocks being dropped. Lots of rats dead. How's the numbers looking now? Ah, we outnumber them. Perfect. Right. Now, at this point, I'm like, I should probably... I should probably maybe think about bringing my missile units into the city. 
because once the we can the one thing that's really good against gutter runners is um is missile units because they don't have any missile defense there's not many of them and so therefore if you chuck some if you chuck some good sort of like you know bullets their way crossbows not crossbows crossbow bolts if you're chucking a cross if you're a crossbowman and you're chucking your crossbow at your enemy you, you're not you haven't been trained well enough that's a training issue and you need to see your manager about that um crossbow bolts is what you want to be throwing so we're whittling down the storm vermin a little bit i do need to bring the guns in the guns are now coming inside the city there we go and that warlock engineer is fucking back again i swear this guy is the worst can we just kill him please He's running away again. And the problem is he's so fast he can just like leg it. He's he's got he's almost got sixty speeds. Oh, he almost had speed. He's now it's forty seven speeds. Still, that's far faster than our dwarves. Okay, storm vermin are routing. Our guns are coming into the city. There's not much left. Um, just a unit of there's rattling guns, there's warp fire throwers, so unit of night runners and gutter runners there, and we're just trying to tr chase off these gutter runners uh they are rallying coming back to the fight the number of enemies has dropped considerably to be honest at this point i would say that we we've, we've pretty much got a debt I'm, I'm surprised army losses haven't taken effect at this point but i guess maybe we're just on the on the cusp on the cusp of army losses so our thunderers are moving in and that this should swing it for us because basically any gutter runners that get in range are going to regret their life choices Yeah. Uh, there's Storm Vermin heading for us, but a volley. Yeah, that. Well, some of you will. The others, you know, have significant bullet wound injuries. Now the Thunder is in range, and the enemy are. There we go. Army loss has taken effect. They're out of here. We've taken the city just a little bit more. Well, harder than I'd like it to have been. Okay, well, that was a little trickier than I would have liked, but never mind. Um, take, I'm take what you want. going to occupy. Oh, we've got grudge removed, because apparently Garth... Bloody Garth. Bloody Garth. Okay, well, we're, we're heading in this direction. I don't know if that's a good... If it doesn't feel like the best idea, but it's what we're doing. We're recruiting an army there. We've got an army over here, but I honestly don't feel like it can probably hold back a horde of biggins. They're just very fucking killy. You know? That's that's my concern. I mean, we should be okay. We can probably get another, even another army as well. Um, and ne uh, Right, well, so I think we... What do I want to do? What is my plan here? And there was me. A couple of best players going, oh, I think it's basically over. No, fucking, no, not even close. I mean, I, I guess, like, it's not... Our little, our little issues aren't the world's issues, are they? I mean, the vampires, I think... Dwarves. What did that, get? that is what we are. Yeah, he is losing settlements. He is at war with basically everyone. So the likelihood of him surviving for much longer is pretty, pretty low. Um, who are the greenskins at war with? So they are at war with, like, the dwarves and Kemri. And yet the dwarves don't seem to be doing shit. I guess the problem is the dwarves are kind of busy up north and I'm shielding them from the greenskins. So that's probably what's happening there. So I'm having to deal with Grimgore. And Grimgore, it, well, if I didn't have Clan Eshin stabbing me in the back, literally stabbing me in the back, then it might be fine. But I've got this little problem to deal with as well as this problem so i'm kind of sandwiched between two problems so that's a bit of a problem but a problem to be dealt with next time thank you very much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode